Hey guys, the Boulder Boulder here, and today I'm going to be doing a new Hero Factory mock of mine, and this is Boulder 4.0, and his full name is Marak Boulder 4.0, and yes, this is Jordan Life's best friend, but also known as his brother, and before he decided to become evil and change his ways to the villains, he, they actually used to consider each other brothers. But now, Marek Boulder considers uh, Jordan Life his little brother, because really, Marek is actually a little bit older than Jordan, so he always calls him little brother if they ever meet up in a battle or anything. So, um, I'll get into more details about that stuff in a moment. First, I'm going to go over the body design. So, as you can see, some of the bone pieces I used were actually from the Hero Factory villain set Nitro Blast, as were many of the other armor plates and these flames on his arms. But, as you can see, I did incorporate plenty of other bionicle elements into this mock. Which I did mainly to make him look a little bit like Stronius, because I've always wanted to use this mask on a Hero Factory mock. Um, and so, that's what happened. Here's a look at the back. As you can see, I used plenty of these spikes from the Hero Factory sets. I actually have two on this big weapon arm. And I did use feet from Stronius as well. And these little spikes were actually from the Hero Factory Savage Planet villain named Waspix. And this big blade right here, that you can sometimes use like a shield to block any kinds of projectiles or any um, types of attacks enemies of him might go at him. And it actually came from, well this specific piece that I have right here came from the Bionicle Stars Paraka, but I believe it was originally created for the Bionicle 2008 series when they had the Mystica and Fantoka. And right here is his really cool big blaster with these blades which he can actually slash things with. And has this third blade mainly to have make it have a good evil look to it and it also has this magma blaster which is connected to his back which built into his back is a magma tank that can actually be refilled with magma so this guy actually turned evil during the 3.0 series secretly when he was in his 3.0 form, which he, like Jordan Life, didn't get an animal 3.0 upgrade because he never went to the planet of the Quatros because Team Alpha took care of the Witch Doctor. And now, it seems that he has doesn't even want to join the Hero Factory anymore. He doesn't really want anything to do with the Hero Factory. He's become a very big threat to them now. The Hero Factory team becomes very worried that since he is very familiar with all of the locations of anything from the Hero Factory that he may end up telling villains where certain places are and may cause practically an entire war. But here he is with 
his little brother, as he calls him, Jordan Life. And here's a comparison. As you can see, he is pretty much um, two heads taller than him if you put him stand up, up all the way. And you can also move his head up and down if need be. And so, like, yeah, it's pretty much two heads taller than Jordan. So, move him back out of the way. And, yeah, since he is very familiar with many of the locations where Hero Factory has refueling bases or whatnot, um, villains can gain knowledge from him. And he can tell different villains where to go. And he has now become a very loyal member for the villains. Though he despises the Hero Factory and any of them who work for the Hero Factory with the Hero Factory Corps, it's vital for his life. It's the only way he can really live. Though, though him and Jordan Life are biomechanical, it gives them... Uh, a mind of their own, unlike all the other Hero Factory people that um, actually are autonomous and are very unlikely to turn their back on the rest of the Hero Factory's team, we find that he is completely evil. Though it seems as if Jordan life is probably the only person who has any type of chance of turning Mark Boulder back to the good side and to work for the Hero Factory again. They would welcome him back in, but it seems as if he just doesn't want to go back at all. And like I said, he did turn evil secretly during the 3.0 series, since he didn't have to go on a whole lot of missions because the Hero Factory is mainly concerned with the state of Quatros so that it wouldn't be destroyed. So, he was able to leave the Hero Factory's building and escape to a fire planet, which is where other villains are actually hiding without the Hero Factory's knowledge. And that planet is also a place where he can refill his magma tank for his blaster. And so he would meet with villains there on occasion and have me meetings with them, talk about different things, and he was trying to devise a plan to attack the Hero Factory, but soon discovered that the Black Phantom was already devising a plan to break out a lot of the villains from the high security prison for the Hero Factory. And it seems that the Black Phantom had been successful in letting many of the villains escape. And so, that gave Marek Boulder his chance to cause some destruction in the Hero Factory, to wreak havoc wherever he wanted to. And now, the Hero Factory really wants to take this guy out. They just consider him a traitor, and they would now rather than welcome him back in, would just, just throw him in prison. But Jordan Life is the only person that actually makes them want to welcome him back into the Hero Factory if he ever was to convert back to a hero. So, that's pretty much it for now. And please be sure to rate and subscribe and check out my Facebook and Blogspot pages. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye for now.